there at the end of the runway is Concord 001 and into loose has joined Raymond Baxter. Just seconds to go. Hey, Baxter, off the le premier vol. 110 tons of aircraft all up. Wait there. The magic moment with us. The crescendo of sound from the 593 Olympus is... Que vous tous allez voir maintenant en direct. 45 knots, 90, 135. Nose come up to 20 degrees, she's airborne. She flies. The Concorde was special. The quality of the work, the minds, the skill, the talent, the commitment that went into it, that's what really matters. Over the last 27 years, Concorde has captured the imagination of people from all over the world. An extraordinary feat of engineering, a unique blend of power, grace, and beauty. It's the first time I've ever been in the air. I've never driven it going in because I'm retired. It's so incredible. It's a wonderful experience. What are you going to tell your school friends when you get back to school on Monday? Well, uh, trying to find some way of getting them to believe me. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Well, good morning. Welcome to Concord and our supersonic operation from London Heathrow to New York's John F. Kennedy. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we're through Mark 1, the speed of sound, no bumps, no bangs, Concord. There's the view of New York from the Triborough Bridge, there's the Sydney Opera House, and there's Concord. Arguably the three most beautiful man-made sights in the world. We have carried the Queen, the Queen Mother, world leaders, stars. It has been an amazing magnet. Phil Collins had dashed from the Wembley stage to Philadelphia by helicopter and Concord. It's good fun. I mean, only a fool such as I would do this. For 27 years, British Airways Concord has been a national symbol, a natural centerpiece for celebration. few hundred feet over the heads of a million people, maybe more, Concorde and the Red Arrows fill the sky. We flew down the Mall and you could see Her Majesty standing on the balcony. I've never seen a million people before, let alone them all looking up and waving and cheering for Concorde. She's brought cities together, brought people closer, and reminded us all that we can do extraordinary things. You kind of think, oh, I wonder who might be on Concord, maybe a famous film star who's just signed a contract in New York or something. Catherine Sister Jones is an absolute star, so glamorous, so Hollywood. Paul McCartney's probably everyone's favourite. He will say hello and he remembers us. Oh, Richard Gere. I have loved him since I was about five. You can always recognise it, and it looks like a swan. You know, when swans fly, it looks like a swan with the shape of its neck. It's the most brilliant example of far-sighted designers fought ahead and kept a lead for half a century. No matter how many times you fly, there still is that amazing, exciting sensation when you take off. Every day is a thrill. By the time the passengers come on board, the air is absolutely charged with excitement. Speedbird Concord 1, you're clear for takeoff. 27 left, surface wind, 240 at 10. Speedbird Concord 1, Roger, clear for takeoff, 27 left. It's a thrill. It's the nearest thing I'll ever fail to rocket. Power starts to bite, push back into your seat. Here's these building. You're concentrating like man. 60 knots. The noise takes over. 100 knots. That's it. Heart starts to pound a bit. V1. Rotate. V2. Positive climb.
For 27 years, she has been our flagship, and her inspiration will stay with us as we take our standards of service still higher and higher. <laughs>